Sometimes the difference between success and failure is small. Sometimes it's night and day. Quite frankly, it's staggering. Only 25% of organisations receive meaningful value from their CMBB. Given the investment in people, technology and ultimately money, that's a shocking return. Gartner proposed a service asset and configuration management competency model to help guide improvements. Its five levels range in the IT service assets in scope, resources required and potential value. But importantly, it sets out common what, how, how many and what if questions that organisations should be able to ask if it's CMDB. It is surprising how many organisations struggle answering basic level one or level two questions such as what servers support this finance application or how many databases have been upgraded to the latest release. One of the first things to think about is how are you populating your CMDB. It's very likely you have multiple discovery sources covering different aspects of your estate. How well do you aggregate these sources together? Can you deduplicate overlapping systems? Does it fill your heart with dread when adding another source of data because of all the data mapping and quality considerations? It doesn't take a genius to want a single consolidated, consistent import of configuration items into a CMDB. Populating software into a CMDB presents its own challenges because it's likely to include millions of rows of discovery data. As you can imagine, aggregating and deduplicating this data presents real challenges. Machine learning is of little help because you don't want to predict what the software is. You want to know what the software is. And therefore, the only solution is to definitively map items to a catalogue of known technology such as Technopedia. Only then can you make sense of all the packages, exe files, uninstallers, help files, language packs, hot fixes and so on. Let me show you how Flexera can improve the quality of your CMDB. We agree with Garner. A service oriented view of your estate is critical to understand business context and impact. As I dig into the CMDB, I can see a number of services. This environment is based on ServiceNow demo data, which you should be familiar with. But Flexera have painted discovery capabilities, which can automatically group technology assets into services and populate this into a CMDB, saving time and money. As I move into a computer configuration item, you will see there's a raw and normalized view of the data. This is important to be able to compare and contrast viewpoints. As a technology steward for the CMDB, I want to know that the information is up to date and accurate. For example, the discovered hardware model is consistent, a ThinkPad T20, but I can see that Lenovo are now the legal owning entity rather than IBM. The operating system has been tidied up but there was insufficient discovery information to identify the CPU manufacturer and type. This might be because discovery doesn't even track this attribute, or it has perhaps been manually populated with genuine intel. But now the data is normalized, I can easily see these differences and investigate. The Flexair integration provides two options in terms of deployment. Use the compare and contrast view loaded into this instance, which introduces Flexera hardware and software models, or organizations can use the default data model provided by ServiceNow. Both options provide lifecycle information for hardware and software assets. Here you can see the Technopedia record for the T20 notebook model 264744U, which includes a categorization of the asset and lifecycle information for the GA date, when the product is no longer for sale, and the obsolete date when this is no longer supported. Technopedia covers assets which are very old, such as this model in the ServiceNow demo data, which was obsolete in 2010. But we also provide research notes when there is no date published by the manufacturer in the exception fields. At the bottom of the page shows related items to the hardware model. So I know all the devices that have been processed and in partnership with the service viewpoint, I can now understand which servers support a service and if those servers are supported. Moving back to the computer page, in the related links at the bottom are relationships to the installed software. The relationship, software installed, shows nine software assets populated directly from discovery and includes uninstallers and exe files. If we look at the normalized software instances, there are only five installed software packages. That's because Flexera have cleaned the discovery data to remove irrelevant items. The raw information is still useful for troubleshooting and understanding everything which was captured, but the normalized view provides a view of the actual software on the computer. 
Digging into the assets, I can see the Technopedia definition, which includes a full categorization and lifecycle. Flexera provide GA dates, an end of life date when standard support finishes, and an obsolete date when extended support finishes. The relevant support package is provided for the phases, and if there are no dates published by the vendor, Technopedia Research will provide an explanation in the exception field, such as this is open source or online support only. As with the hardware, there is a related list at the bottom linking to all the computers with this model installed. These relationships help answer the question about databases being supported. It is also possible to provide an N-1 attribute that states how many versions of the current release. I've shown you how Flexera can provide clean, consistent information about software assets into a CMBB. The discovery data has been transformed into information that can be used to help establish a single source of truth and inform decision making about your technology estate.